design students. Uh, now we're going to look at putting a patty on the spun. And uh, also we're going to do cheese first, because I like my cheese directly above a patty. So for starters, very similar to the bun, we're going to look at making a patty using a rectangle. And we want it to be a little wider and a little skinnier than the bun was. Once again, we're going to use the corner slider to pull our edges in. And these ones can pull in even a little bit more so that the edge is almost completely rounded. I'm going to choose a sort of brownish color uh, down in here, like a dark brown, so that our food is cooked well. And we want it to have a sort of 3D to it. We're not looking for an icon burger. So to do that, I'm going to right click on it and convert it to a path and then use my subselect tool to pull the bottom down and get a bit of a curve and then pull the top down to get a bit of a curve. This is also not a halfway bad uh, way to make uh, a hot dog either. Much like we did with the bun, a great thing to do here would be to take our initial color and switch it to a linear gradient. I don't think we want it to be completely black on the edge there, so I'm just gonna lighten it a little bit. I'm gonna eyedropper the brown and then pull down there. That should do it for us, not bad. And then cheese is a little more fun. I'm going to make a triangle, and I'm gonna be down here. And with that triangle, I'm going to pull it out. And this time, I want the flat end on the top when I hit Shift. I want it maybe this big. I'm going to right-click Convert to Path and go to my Subselect tool. And once again, I don't want these inner vertices. They're just going to get in the way. The shape we're looking to make here is we're going to grab this corner and curve it out and grab the opposite one and curve it in, and grab the top and curve it up. Then we're gonna pick sort of a deep yellow. So we wanna be sort of in this range. I'm now going to shrink it down a little bit till it covers like about half maybe of this, maybe angle it a bit, and maybe squish it so that it doesn't doesn't get all the way off the bottom there. Now we're going to do a trick here, and it's the first time we're going to be doing this trick, but we're going to be doing it a lot. And it's going to add sort of a, a faux 3D effect. I'm going to copy, control C, and paste, control V, to make a copy of my cheese. And I'm going to move it over and up just a little bit. So you can see here's the one that's on top, and here's the one that's on back. And the one that's in back, what we're going to do is I'm going to take the color and I'm just going to go like straight down on my color wheel and get it just a little darker. And you can play around with this with your keyboard a little bit. I'm going to move mine a little bit to the right so that this edge corner lines up a little better. But you can see it gives us this um, fake, fake 3D effect. Now, what I want to do is put a second one over here and flip it. But if I flip it, it's going to put my 3D on the wrong side. And I want to make sure my 3D effects are always sort of down and to the right. So I'm just going to select the top piece, hold Alt and move it over. And then I'm going to transform, flip horizontal. Putting it right here is good. And once again, I'm going to Control C, Control V, which puts another one on top for my cheese. And I'm going to move this guy over a little bit. And then this back one here is the one that gets eyedroppered sort of as this sort of darker yellow color. And you might have to play around with lining it up a little right to get it perfect. Might have to, you know, tilt it a little bit to get that sort of fake edge to look right. But don't worry too much if it looks a little weird in the middle here because we're going to put other stuff on top of that. But here you can see I've got cheese coming down and it looks, looks pretty good. Now we're going to be layering lots of stuff. So I'm going to select all my cheese pieces, group them, and rename them cheese. And while we're at it, my burger, I'm going to rename burger. So now you can see here I've got cheese on top, burger, top bun. We can just quickly reorder these. 
so that they're in the right order of the burger here. And you can see how it might look if I were to have just a plain cheeseburger and not put some other stuff in it. That'll do it for this one. In the next video, we're going to look at some uh, other toppings in here and how to make them using our gradient tools and some uh, creative offsetting.